to another weekly vlog. I am up bright and early this Monday morning. It is currently 6.42 and I'm having a bit of an unconventional start to the week. The reason I got up so early this morning is because I need to get ready to head into the center to film some content for a brand. And that is basically my one job for today. I need to film the content, edit the content and send the content over. I I was saying this to Megan just now in the kitchen that I feel like getting up early and going into the center for this campaign kind of feels like a school trip. I don't know why. I think just because so much of my work is done on my own in my room, it's very rare for me to actually be going out and doing stuff. I am kind of nervous though because I do feel like the stakes are higher when other people are involved and I've got less chances, I guess, of getting it right. This campaign has come along at kind of the perfect time as well because to be totally honest, last week I was having a little bit of a wobble with social media. Obviously, I absolutely love doing this and it's why I do it week in, week out. But I think sometimes it can be a very mentally draining job because yes, it runs like a business behind the scenes and I'm self-employed, all that jazz. But this is a very interesting business because the business is me. So it's hard to not take things like a dip in views, a dip in growth, really personally, if that makes sense. But obviously having dips in views, having dips in growth, all of that is part of the job so you really have to get used to it and try to almost detach yourself from it so you can look at it objectively but it's definitely easier said than done and last week I was just having a bit of a moment about whether this was what I really wanted to do after uni and whether this was right for me to be doing but as I said I think that was just a little bit of a wobble because I feel so much better this week I'm super excited to go and film this campaign. I'm excited to start a new vlog. Sorry to throw you in the deep end like that right at the start of the vlog. Back to uni stuff. Where is my phone? It is the second to last week of the semester now. I think I got that wrong a few weeks ago in the vlog. I think I said that we only had two weeks left when we had three weeks left. However, this week I've only got two contact hours, I think. Oh no, I've got one contact contact hour. Yeah, I've got one lecture on Friday and that is it. The rest is either originally online or has been put online because of strikes. So I'm not sure what the format of this vlog is gonna look like yet. I don't know if it's gonna be a bit of an unconventional week in general, but I am gonna finish getting ready now and we shall see. awkward angle but it's four o'clock now. I have just been editing all day since I got back from filming this morning. It went really well this morning. I got all the clips I needed. I've edited it and sent it off to the brand so I'm super happy about that. That was a very productive start to my day and to the week and then I've just been finishing up editing last week's weekly vlog and I'm almost done with that too. I've got yoga in an hour in the union so before I go I'm just gonna make myself a quick snack and I thought I'd show you what I'm making because this is my current snack obsession and I'm also on a bit of a gut health journey at the moment I'm trying to learn a lot more about gut health and the things that I can do within my diet and within my meals to help it because I don't really know what the problem is and I haven't been officially diagnosed with anything but you girl has gut health 
issues. But anyway, the snack that I'm enjoying at the moment is kefir yogurt. This is the Yeo Valley one. Fermented foods like kefir are supposedly very good for your gut because they have live bacteria in them. So that's the same with the kimchi that I love and have every single day. I then have some Bio and Me granola and I also chop up an apple. So I'm essentially making a little yogurt bowl, which I know a lot of people have for breakfast, but this would not fill me up for breakfast. So it's my snack instead. I'm about to head off to the library. I feel like my vlogs are getting super repetitive at the moment and this was one thing that I was kind of stressing out about last week but there's not really anything I can do about it without them becoming completely unauthentic because this just is the reality of final year. Today I'm again going to the library to work on my data analysis which is something I've been doing for over three weeks now but that's just how long it takes to work on a dissertation and I'm still gonna have at least another six weeks working on it. But please still let me know if you've got any feedback about these vlogs, if there's anything that you'd like me to do differently, anything more that you'd like me to include that would maybe mix them up a bit, or if you just want me to keep them the same, I can also do that. As I mentioned in last week's vlog, it feels like I don't have a whole lot of work on at the moment apart from my diss. Probably because the term is ending, the modules are wrapping up, so there's not really any seminar prep left because all of the seminars are just sort of information about the exam. But I'm just trying to lean into these few weeks of not having as much work because I know Easter is going to be pretty intense because I need to finish my diss off. I also have an assignment for my social media module and then straight after that in May is exam season. But with that said, let's head off to the library to do yet some more SPSS.
Wednesday today and I have woken up in a fabulous mood this morning. Firstly, because it is so sunny outside, it is blue skies and that always puts me in such a good mood. And secondly, I'm finally coming to the end of my data analysis. I got into such a flow yesterday afternoon in the library that without realizing, I essentially finished my data analysis, which I was not expecting to do that quickly. And I don't know if you can tell in the clip that I filmed, I had a little cry <laughs> when I finished it. Throughout this whole dissertation process, the analysis has been the bit that I've always been worried about and the bit that I've always doubted myself on because as I've mentioned in previous vlogs, statistics isn't my favorite. I've used SPSS before in previous assignments and never really known what I'm doing. But I think because I have a lot more time to do my dissertation and therefore approached it in a much calmer manner and really took the time to actually understand what I was doing when I was doing it. We got through and I managed to do it and I was just really proud of myself. Although when I was lying in bed last night, I did realize that I missed out quite a few of my demographic variables that I also need to test. So I'm gonna have to go back today and add those into my analysis. But at least I can do that now because I understand the steps that I've taken and I understand where I need to put those variables in and it's just so satisfying because I feel like I've shut up that little voice in the back of my head that was going you're gonna mess it up you're gonna do it wrong so yeah I'm feeling really chuffed about that and hopefully it means that I shouldn't have to bang on about data analysis for another four weeks on end so my plan for today is to put those variables into those models and then start the write-up because it's all well and good actually running the tests but my my next challenge is to work out how to actually write out my results. It is Thursday today. The week is once again going so quickly. I know I said in my last vlog, or maybe it was the one before, that I wouldn't keep putting these timestamps of how long left I've got, but today I got my official exam timetable. So I now know that I'm gonna be completely done with uni on the 1st of June, which means I have just over two months left of uni, which really isn't a very long amount of time. It's actually currently 25 past 11. I just stayed at home a little bit longer than usual this morning to edit the TikTok that I filmed yesterday, which is why there's also probably not that many clips from yesterday in the vlog, because I'm really bad at filming for multiple platforms at once. It's just too much for my brain to remember. <laughs> but I will be posting the day in the life that I filmed yesterday on Instagram, TikTok and YouTube Shorts, so you can go and watch it there. So yesterday morning, I was saying how happy I was that I was getting to the end of my data analysis and I was actually finishing it. But little did I know that when I got to uni and was looking at doing the write-up for my results, I realised I did completely the wrong type of regression. Regression is just a type of 
data analysis that you can do by the way. I won't launch into a whole description of what it is because quite frankly I clearly don't understand it myself. But anyway there's multiple types of it and I was doing the wrong one. So I think I've now done the correct one. Luckily I didn't have to change loads to actually do it, I just had to run a different test on the software. But now I'm back to square one with how do I write up these results. I don't know how much of this I can talk about but also my results basically show that there's not a strong relationship at all between the factors that I was looking at, the dependent and the independence that I was looking at. So the conclusion of my dissertation is essentially that there's no relationship between the two things that I was looking at which isn't ideal but they always say that any result is a result and as long as I can write it up effectively and discuss it properly it won't affect my mark or anything. But it is kind of surprising because I did really expect there to be a relationship just based on my own observations but that is what the data says and who am I to argue. But anyway I have finished editing all of that content this morning so I'm gonna make myself some lunch and then head into uni to to meet Sid and hopefully make a start on that write-up this afternoon. Then at three o'clock Sid and I have actually got a yoga class together. Yoga Society at uni is always saying that they want more boys to come to yoga classes so they're running a class today called Bring Your Own Boy. <laughs> so I thought it'd be fun to bring Sid along because he has done a little bit of yoga in the past but he doesn't do it consistently and I just thought it'd be a nice thing to do together. And then I'm not gonna lie after that yoga class at four, I'll probably just call it a day because the likelihood of me actually doing any work past four o'clock is very low, but I do need to post some stuff on social, so I will be doing that afterwards. How was your first ever yoga class? Was that your first ever yoga class? Yes, it would have been actually. Very relaxing, very calming. Oh and good, you, what, did you feel zen? To find zen. I don't know, I always just feel really calm and like loose. <laughs> afterwards. No, it's very relaxed. I can't say I feel loose because I think I'm just tight in general usually. Yeah, but do your muscles not feel better now? Maybe a little bit. No, I feel more relaxed in the head. Oh, okay. Than in the in my body, I think. I think mm -hmm. that's more the... But maybe if I kept going some, yeah. then I yeah, would feel more better. relaxed in my body. But mm -hmm. I think my body's just tight in general. I liked it and of course I would recommend it to everyone. <laughs> success. <laughs> Good morning, it is Friday today and I'm about to head off for a doctor's appointment before then going into uni. I'm having a very sorting my life out kind of weekend starting today so I've got a doctor's appointment booked for this morning, I've then got an eye test tomorrow, I'm also getting my nails done tomorrow and I'm taking my laptop for a service. I've had this little notification on my MacBook for months now saying that the battery needs a service and I've just ignored it and especially in these final few months of uni I do not want my laptop failing on me this is when I need it the most and I've also booked a hair appointment for a few weeks time I think so I'm feeling on top of my life because these are things I always forget to book but I just sat down a few weeks ago and booked them all so I'm taking myself for a full service as well. I've got one lecture this afternoon. I've got my advertising and promotional management lecture. So I'm excited for my one contact hour of the week. This is genuinely the only lecture that I've had this week. So I'll montage the rest of the day for you and say goodbye now before I forget. I really hope you've enjoyed this vlog and if you have, make sure to subscribe for the rest of the Productive Uni Diaries. Also make sure to follow me on my TikTok TikTok on my Instagram for lots more extra content and I'll see you in next week's video. Bye!